Hello, it's Laura Jean. Uh, just a general update. Two videos in one day. Oh, yeah. Uh, we had a GoFundMe last year toward the end. And uh, thank you so much for everything that you guys have donated. And it's mostly family and friends and a few people from YouTube. So that, that was touched our hearts. Thank you. Uh, with some of the money that you gave, we started some more experimental therapy. Uh, the red light therapy uh, so just wanted to give you an update on that too uh, i started out using the v light vie light uh neuro duo uh, it's out of canada uh right after thanksgiving and at the time that i started using it i had been to clinic in October, I believe, and I started at Thanksgiving, and by then, I was having trouble uh, choking on pills about every day, at least once a day. Not bad, I could still breathe, it's just they get stuck, stuck in my throat. Um, also, uh, I was having trouble swallowing my saliva while I was lying down. And uh, whenever I was off the ventilator, even for very short amounts of time, I felt a little bit anxious uh, to get back onto the ventilator, like I needed air. Uh, so after the first week or two, I noticed that I was choking back to about once a week on my pills, and I could swallow my saliva while lying down and I could uh, be off the ventilator for shorter periods of time, like a minute or two, and not feel panicked. Um, so uh, I don't know if that really is because of the light therapy. My guess is that it is because of the light therapy, but it will take more time to be sure of that. It's been over a month now. I've used it and uh, I think I've stayed about steady in those regards. Uh, my last clinic force vital capacity, which is a measurement of breathing, was 24. And the clinic I had on Wednesday uh, here, January, early January, was also 24 for FVC. Other numbers had declined slightly. So there is still progression. I also, over that time, have had more weakness in my neck. If my neck goes down, I have a hard time getting up. Sometimes I can get up if I get to the side. Sometimes I have to adjust my chair so I can get back up. Um, also, my toes, I have less movement in, in my uh, intercostal muscles, the ones between your uh, ribs. Those are a little weaker, too. Uh, so, well, I'm not saying that the V-Light product has cured me in any way or anything. I do think there might be some positive uh, outcomes strength-wise, which is a big deal, I think. Um, so I continue, I plan to continue using it. You could actually try it out for six months with an 80% back guarantee. So... To me, it's worth the payment. Um, and then a week and a half ago, or no, two weeks almost ago, I started using the Juve product, J-O-O-V-V, -V, uh, for my body light therapy. It's red light and infrared. Uh, yeah, it's too early to tell anything with that. But, uh, why I'm interested in those is because uh, there have been studies on other neurological issues with red light in the near infrared, uh, mostly Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, and both have shown limited success at at least improving symptoms. So uh, that's why I'm interested. I think the uh, mechanism of action is usually. Uh, believed to be cytochrome C 
see oxidase, uh, which is light sensitive. It's a, I think it was an enzyme. I should, should look it up before I made this video. Um, and it Uh, the light helped it to start more the process of making ATP energy for uh, the mitochondria for the cells. So basically what I was hoping the red light therapy would do is to increase energy in cells um, and enable them to work better for whatever is going wrong. So. That's the reasoning behind why I'm doing it and where I am. So I, I am encouraged by the uh, the light therapy, and I, I look forward to continuing to try it. And uh, my next clinic in April should show if it's help, helping to slow down symptoms or not. So what you, what are you getting right now with me trying to breathe? Is a uh, my machine thinks that I'm having some apnea because of my breathing patterns. It's trying to force air into me. <sighs> it's annoying at times. It's quite a skill learning how to talk with the nose piece on and to eat and drink with it on. Some other notes. Uh, I just made a short video on that my power wheelchair, my son helped me, thank you. Um, and a couple things he didn't mention. There is an attendant control up here. I can't really see it. Behind my right, my right shoulder. And if I'm not able to control it, someone else could. From back there. I have two controllers right now. One on my left, one on my right. One with a joystick. Um, the one without the joystick is set up so that whenever I need to transition to a head array, which is a bunch of buttons by my head that are used to drive my chair, whenever I need to transition, we can just plug it in and go. So, normally you would not have two controllers. Also, my chair has a, a, a lift kit. It's a, no, it's an eye level. Uh, so that means it, it it'll raise up higher. It supposedly insurance sometimes does not pay for that, but it has been really helpful with transfers and lots of other things. So I really appreciate it. It's also nice to look at people in the eye sometimes when I do it. The uh, camel back and the holder for my phone, phone and the bag on the side of my chair, all the things that my husband has put on my chair. Um, they've been really helpful. Uh, one of the benefits of marrying, marrying an engineer. And then the last thing is. Uh, just wondering if there's anyone out there who, well, okay, I'm going to take a class from my, uh, a school that is run through my church called the Timothy Pastoral Pro Project, or Apprenticeship, sorry. And it's on giving reasons for your faith, and uh, as Part of the this the class, I have to interview two people who do not believe like I believe. Uh, so with some different faith back background, and uh, I was wondering if there's anybody watching my videos that would like to be interviewed. Uh, basically, I have to do it in the next week, so you'd have to comment to get back to me soon. Uh, and basically. Basically, I ask you what, what you believe, how you came to believe it. This thing's driving me crazy. And 
uh, your perspective on Christianity and problems that you have with it or uh, critiques of it. Um, and then I, I have to write up a response uh, as part of the class uh, detailing uh, how the conversation went and uh, giving some uh, responses to your perspectives. So if I need two, two people, so if anybody is interested, just comment below. Be look fun. Hello. Uh, guess that's about it. Had a good Christmas. Oh, and my daughter, uh, yeah. She, she did not need surgery. She's in a cast. The arm was bent at 40 degrees angulation, which is more they like, than they like to see, but at that age, supposedly it'll straighten out. So hopefully we'll see. It'll show us. If, it'll take years to find out, so. But uh, blessings on you all. Thanks for watching and being part of my journey. And God bless you on your journey. Bye.